Good morning, y'all. Uh, wake up. I ain't messing with y'all. God bless y'all. One day at a time. All right. Little by little. Keep that in mind. Not everything going to be done for you at one time. All right. You should have it. You should have that in your mind. Okay. If not, keep it in there. Put it in there. Okay. Or, listen, you got to take the good with the bad, my brothers or sisters, because you can't have one without the other. All right. You can't have ups without downs, fouls without free throws, daytime without nighttime. You experience this every 24 hours, all right, 12 hours a day and 12 hours a night. Sometimes things are going to look sunny and sometimes they're not, all right? Listen, I know you want to be in the sunshine, walking on the beach with your dad or whatever you drink on, uh, living in la-la land, no problems. Just wake up and it's happening, uh, yeah. Things going the way you want them to go, correct? <laughs> not all the time. Not down here. Listen, you can't escape what Jesus said. I'm going to keep on telling you. In John chapter 16, verse 33, unless you can correct God, <laughs> Jesus said in this world, you're going to have trouble. But in him, you got peace. As long as you're in this world, <laughs> I don't care how much money you got, how good your job is, how good your family is, and whatever you can put together. I know rich people who got money. I know a lot of people who got money, and they struggle each and every single day. That money don't fix their problems. In fact, it make more problems. You heard the song about money, more problems. Listen, in this world, as long as you're breathing, you're going to have trouble somehow, some way, okay? But I love the fact Jesus said, in him, you can have peace. I love the fact no matter whatever situation you got going on, if you're incarcerated, if you're in the hospital, if you suffer from some type of disease, uh, some sickness or something, you can have peace with God through Jesus Christ. You're th through the living word of God. Listen to me, man. You ain't got to go nowhere. A lot of, a lot of y'all people got money. You take the vacation to, to go create peace. I, I bet when you get there, you still got trouble. You ain't got to go nowhere to find peace, man. You can have peace in the middle of your storm with God through Jesus Christ. You're through the word. Listen to me. It's something about being in God's word. You hear me? A lot of people don't know don't know what I'm talking about. But it's something I ain't just talking about reading. I'm talking about letting God's word be in your heart. Let it resonate through your mind, all through your spirit. Listen, it is a peace that transcends all understanding that, that will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. You came back. You hear me? I'm telling this now, man. People don't know what I'm talking about. But if the for if you do understand this, I'm telling you, you ain't gotta go nowhere. A lot of y'all go take a vacation. You ain't gotta take a vacation. You can have peace right here where you at. You hear me? No matter what's going on, in any in any and every situation. I love that right there, man. Word. I'm telling you, you got to choose to be like Mary. Mary sat down on the feet of God. Martha came in hot. She said, Jesus, don't you care that, that my sister let me do all this work by myself? <laughs> Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you worried and upset about many things. Only a few things are required. Really only one. Mary chosen what's best for her, and it's not going to be taken away from her. <laughs> I love that right there. Listen. <laughs> word. Uh, receive God's word, man. Enjoy, enjoy his blessing. Listen. <laughs> You can't have daytime without nighttime, though, all right? You're going to go through some nighttime moments, whether you're going through or not. Daytime without nighttime. You can't have it, all right? Every 12 hours, every 24 hours, you experience this, okay? <laughs> A lot of y'all, be you don't like nighttime, okay? <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Stars only shine at night. You hear me? I love that. Stars only shine at night. A lot of y'all want to shine in the daytime. The sun, S-U-N, is the only star that's shining in the day. Really, the S-O-N, you hear me? But stars only shine at night. <laughs> Listen to me. In the, in the darkest moments of your life, whatever you got going on, in the midnight hours, you can shine ever so bright like a star in the midst of the night. If you allow the process to do what God intends for it to do uh, and hang on to him, God will allow you to go through things. A lot of y'all don't like to go through them. You, you, you're going to go through something there, okay? A lot of y'all be avoiding. God be putting y'all through stuff, but y'all don't be catching. Y'all don't be... You don't be, you don't be seeing what he's doing. You see what I'm saying? Y'all run to the world. Y'all calling your girlfriend, your boyfriend, on your money, your job. You trying to figure your way out of it. Y'all calling everything and everybody except God. He the one allowing you to go through what you're going through to, to get you to draw closer to him. Yeah, I have never known nobody in life who called on God when stuff was going right. Nobody. I never know nobody in life who, who found God when stuff going their way. Nobody. Everyone that I've read about, everyone that I've met, when they found God, stuff was really, really hard for them. You see what I'm saying? Word. God showed up, and God showed up unexpectedly when, when they weren't even expecting it. You're in, in a tough time. You see Listen to me, man. They was going through something. You see what Listen God will allow you to go through things. He will allow dark time moments to come over you to, to get you to draw closer to him. 
All right, listen to me. God wants you to get to a point of complete dependency of him and him alone. God will strip everything away from you. Your friends, your family, your resources, everything that you can depend on, lean on. He'll take all these things away from you and, and get you to draw closer to him because that's what he wants you to get to anyway. There was a king named David, anointed by God. You hear me? He got chased. God allowed him to be chased out of the kingdom. Listen to me, man. He literally got chased out of the kingdom. Well, he ain't have nothing. But David still said, the Lord is my shepherd, huh? I lack nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you can have it all. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't got God, you ain't got nothing. I'll tell you that. I don't care how much money you got, how good, whatever you think you got. If you, you can be rich. If, you, if you're rich without God, you're really naked, poor, and pitiful. I'm letting you know, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. You can have it all, but if you ain't got God, you ain't got nothing. You can have very little bit, but if you got God, you got it all, my brother, sister. You ain't gonna lack nothing. I promise you that. Listen, to me. <laughs> David said, "I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, um, for you are with me." Talking about God, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You pre you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my hand with oil. This oil is the representation of the Holy Spirit. My cup overflows. Hmm? Surely your goodness, God's goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. <laughs> For, and I know we're going to church, but the house of the Lord, eternity, forever. <laughs> I, I see David yelling at that, man. Listen to me. <laughs> Right up. You must walk through the valley. You hear me? David was able to trust in God at, at, his, at, his, at his lowest moments of life. You hear me? I'm telling you, when you're able to trust in God, that's what he wants you to learn, me to learn, everyone to learn, to trust in him at your lowest moment of life. You hear me? To, to be able to, to, to lean on him at your lowest moment of life. You hear me? I'm telling you, when, when you're able to walk with the Lord through the valley, <laughs> And I'm telling you, starting, you, you can pretty much close your close the book of your life, brother, sister, because the rest ain't going to matter. He can give you the world. You're not going to care about the world because you got him. You can lose it all. You're not going to care about losing it all because God said, you, you, because God with you. God said, I will never leave you. Never will I forsake you. The Lord is my helper. So we say with confidence, what can mere mortals do to me? You hear me? Listen to me. You ain't worried about losing nothing, gaining nothing. You got God. You got the creator of the world. You got it all, brother, sister. Listen to me. That's the greatest reward ever. Listen to me. But he wants you to learn that lesson, though, to be able to trust in him with everything. It's easy to trust in God or talk about God with stuff going right. It's a different ball game with stuff going wrong. And when you're able to hang on to him, when, that, that's, that's the lesson, man. When you're able to hang on to him, when stuff ain't right, hmm, he going to make it all right. That's that's where you shine, like a star in the midst of the night. You hear me? Word. It's a word like that in Philippians. Hmm? How you ain't going How you ain't going to him, Devonta? In the beginning was the word. Hmm? And the word was with God. Hmm? And the word was God. Hmm? Listen, Philippians chapter 2, verse 14, Brother Paul said, do everything without grumbling, okay? Don't grumble and argue with the Lord. <laughs> he, he, he'll put you through something. A lot of y'all like to go through nothing, okay? Y'all understand physical training, going to the gym. You don't go to the gym and get the muscles. You can A, a lot of people go to the gym and look at people, work out, and then they're going to get the muscles. It don't work like that. You got to put yourself through something physical. It, it don't just pop up on you, okay? I ain't been in a minute, but I still got the form or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Listen. It don't just pop up on you. You must go through something. A lot of a lot of y'all don't like to go through nothing. So God will help you out. He'll put you through something. <laughs> but y'all be missing it though. Y'all don't be hanging on to him as you ought to. Flipping and y'all get mad and upset with God. I can't believe you letting me go through this. I just can't believe you, man. You wanna you wanna have the right attitude. Okay, listen. Philippians chapter two, verse 14, Brother Paul said, Do everything without grumbling or arguing. Don't argue with God. So so that you may become blameless and pure. Children of God, without fault, in a warped and crooked generation, then you will shine among them like stars in the sky, huh? As you hold firm to the word of life. That's it right there. God got the word. He got the word to get you through your situation in any in any and every situation. You hear me? You gotta hang on to him though. A lot of y'all don't be help holding on to him. You hear me? Y'all be missing the opportunity to shine and to grow. You hear me? Word. Y'all just be missing. It. But that he he won't allow you to go through what you go through, okay, for a reason. You just keep on breathing. Inhaling and exhaling, my brother, sister. I know it ain't uh, pleasant. It might be painful. No pain, no gain. You just keep on breathing, though. Inhale, exhale. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> you're going to be all right. I have confidence that you're going to shine like a star in the, midst of the, in the midst of the sky, ever so bright, so I can see it. You hear me? I have confidence in that. All right. You're going to be all right. All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to his due. Amen. Whatever today is, Tuesday, I believe. Yeah. Tuesday, January 9, 345 a.m. 2024. The best is yet in store. <laughs> Word. I like to be up while everyone else is snoring. 
or something like that. Listen, it's early. <laughs> it's early. If you ain't get you one of these, should have got you one to read. You still can inbox me. I got some. I got some extra chunks. All right. It take me like two or three days to get them to you. Where? Uh, it's a nice book. With nice pack with some nice teachings in it. It's called Knowledge from God Almighty, Volume One, by some dude named Devontae Farm. Nice book, nice name with some nice teachings. But listen. This book does not replace the Bible. <laughs> no book replaces the Bible. I can give you a hundred books. <laughs> You're not going to understand not one of them if you can't understand your Bible. You're never going to get step two without taking step one. Step one, taking God this word. You hear me? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're never going to get step two without taking step one. Step one, taking God's word. Everything you need, can need, and will need is something God's word. And in God's word, alone, you hear? If you can't read your Bible, you're not going to be able to read this. I promise you, you're just going to have it sitting on the shelf somewhere. It ain't going to make sense to you. You know what I'm saying? If there's any truth in any books, they're going to point you to the Bible. You hear me? I love to read the Holy Quran. That is a divine inspired word of God. And it points you to the Bible. Y'all never see when I'm doing my Quran teaching. I'm in the Bible. They go hand in hand. You can't read the Holy Quran without reading the Bible. You see what I'm saying? That's why you don't see me people reading the Holy Quran. They can't because they can't properly read their Bible. I promise you. Okay? So I would advise you to get a Bible. And don't just get one, but read it. Don't just read it. Do what it says. Brother James said in James chapter 1, verse 22. Do not merely listen to the word and deceive yourselves. Do what it says, okay? Where Jesus said, why you call me Lord, but not doing what I'm telling you? You being ignorant. Basically, man, you, you saying you rock with me, but you 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 in direct opposition against me. You're not doing what I'm telling you to do. You're not practicing what I'm telling you. you where? You, you, that's opposite. You being ignorant. You said, why you call me Lord, but not doing what I'm telling you? He said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24, therefore, Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man hmm? who built his house on a rock. The rain came, the streams rose, the winds blew, and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Jesus Christ is the cornerstone, the rock upon which you must build your life on, my brothers and sisters. If you build your life on God or Father, if you build your life on Jesus Christ, the living word of God, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You're going to be all right, you hear me? You're going to get scraped up and banged up along the way we all do, but you ain't going to fall, you hear me? The rest of y'all building your lives on sand. The money, the cars, the clothes, that's saying. Your career, your, 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 your business, whatever. If it ain't banked on God, you're building your life on sin. It's, it's going to come crumbling down one day. You hear me? Get sick and go to the hospital to get on your deathbed. <laughs> and go get all the money you got and see what it's going to do for you. Not a damn thing. <laughs> go get, call your friends or whatever and see what they're going to do for you. <laughs> Nothing. If, the, if God didn't put them in your life, I guarantee they're not going to be there long. You hear me? Where? Call your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or call your job and see what the job going to do for you. <laughs> they might send you a get well card. You hear me? But God. <laughs> God got power over death, sickness, and disease. You hear me? He's the healer. You hear me? And even if he don't heal, we got to die one day. Got to go to the other side. You hear me? He, it's, it's, a, it's a fear of death. God will take that fear of death away. It's a verse like that in the Bible. God will take that fear of death away from you. A lot of y'all afraid of dying. You see what I'm saying? God will get, he'll take that fear away from you because he, he'll let you know on the other side it's all right. You hear me? He, he, he give you the, the faith on this side that you're going to be all right. You hear me? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Listen to me. Y'all going to be all right. Where I'm going to, we don't know. It's early in the morning. It's early in the morning. Hey, God bless y'all. God bless y'all. It's a privilege and an honor each and every single day to be able to sit down with the Lord and to be able to, be able to read his word. It's a privilege and an honor each and every single day. Okay? Don't so never take that for granted, y'all. If God ever uh, give y'all the mind to spend time with him. I like what Pastor Troy said. The best time you can spend is time with God's word. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing you can ever do. Just like hopping in the shop. Go to Isaiah 46. I mean, Isaiah 48, verse 1. <clears throat> it's hard to say stubborn Israel. <laughs> Israel is the group of God's people. <laughs> if you, if you say, and if you put your faith and trust in God, accept his word. If you, if any one of y'all are part of the children of God, you, you will be included in Israel, okay? All right. It's hard to, it's hard to say stubborn Israel. <laughs> Isaiah 48, verse 1, say, Listen to this, you descendants of Jacob, you who are called by the name of it, you who are called by the name of Israel and come from the line of Judah, you who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness. You see? It's a lot of people. Jesus said the same thing in Matthew 15. Uh, verse 7, uh, you hypocrites, Isaiah was right. That's what I'm reading from. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their mouths, but their what? Their hearts are far from me. A lot of people talk about God. 
that God is good. Jesus Christ is great. A lot of people so a lot of people so called Christians claim to follow Jesus, but you're not doing what they saying. You're not doing what Jesus is telling you to do. <laughs> well, listen, I can talk about the Holy Spirit or whatever. <laughs> but listen, uh, they're not doing it in truth. God is a spirit. Those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. A lot of people don't think they got no, these are the type of worships the Father sees. A lot of people go to church and like they don't got a problem. Vontae, do you got problems? What are you talking about? <laughs> Jesus said in this world, you, unless you correct God, Jesus said in this world, you're going to have trouble. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, yes, I got trouble in this world. Uh, last time I checked, I'm a sinner saved by grace. I'm 29 years old. <laughs> I don't got it all together. Well, how you doing what you're doing, Devontae? John the Baptist gave us the recipe. The recipe he said, produce fruit. He ain't talking about apples and oranges. Produce fruit and keep it with repentance. Keeping with repentance. Not just one day. And keeping with repentance. Every day. I repent. Every day, not some, not one day, every day, from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep, I ask God to forgive me for my lustful eyes, my lustful heart, my sexual immorality, my impurity, my idolatry, my adultery, my covetous, my anger, and my greed. Yeah, my word. Your, your young brother got problems. <laughs> but it don't look like you got no problems. You produce fruit and keep them repentance with fruit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 say, the fruit of the Spirit hmm, is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. You hear? Uh -huh, I love that right there. You hear? That's what you produce when you when you keep on repentance. <laughs> you produce that love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. You hear? Me? When you repent hmm, and, and keep on repentance, you produce these things. A lot of people not being truthful, honest with God. They act like they don't got sin. <laughs> Martin, do, do you got sin in your life? First John chapter 1 verse 8. Yes. First John chapter 1 verse 8. Uh, John said, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves. <laughs> a lot of people deceiving themselves because they act like they don't got, don't got a problem. You don't, you got to wake up and go to sleep with yourself, brother. Sis. I, I, I got to wake up by my, I gotta wake up my own. Then listen, <laughs> well, I, I never got a problem. I never feel no shame telling the truth. A lot of people act like they got all together, this and that. <laughs> Boy, that and as you see, they think they, you see, man, listen, I need help as much as you do. I probably need more help than you do because I'm in a teaching position. I'm, there's only one teacher, but you know what I mean. Work. I need more help than you do, bro. Ain't no problem that I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, I'm a young man. All right? It's not easy. <laughs> listen, God always dealing with me. <laughs> Word. But anyway, a lot of people, they don't be truthful and honest. They act like they're Andy Griffin or Miss Teresa or something. They, they got no problems. <laughs> well, Jesus said it's not the health who, who need a doctor, but the sick. You hear him? Word. A lot of people don't get help because they don't think they got a sickness. The sickness is sin. <laughs> I go to the doctor every day, every night. Or not the doctor at the hospital, but the real the real hospital, the spiritual one. Yeah, every day, every night, I go get help. <laughs> or listen, <laughs> a lot of people that they they be stubborn. Though. Listen, let me finish this. Uh, Isaiah forty eight, verse say uh, verse one, say uh, listen, you descendants of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Israel, uh, and come from the land of Judah, you who take the you who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness. You who call yourselves citizens of the holy city and claim to rely on the God of Israel. The Lord, the Lord Almighty is his name. Amen. I foretold the former things long ago. My mouth announced them and I made them known. Then suddenly I acted and they came to pass. For I know, for I knew how stubborn you were. <laughs> you know, a lot of y'all are stubborn. <laughs> God said, I, I knew how stubborn you were. Your neck muscles were iron. Your forehead was bronze. Then I told you these things long ago. Therefore, I told you these things long ago. Before they happened, I announced them to you. So that you could not say, my images brought them about. My wooden, my wooden image and metal, go and metal God, Lord KG, ordained them. You have heard these. You have heard these things. Look at them all. Will you not admit them? From now on, I will tell you of new things, of hidden things unknown to you. They are created now and not long ago. You have not heard of them before today. So you cannot say, yes, I knew of them. You have neither heard nor understood. From of, from of old, your ears have not been opened. Well, well, do I know how treacherous you are? You were called a rebel from birth. <laughs> I love this. For my own name's sake, I delay my wrath. Amen. For the sake of my praise, I hold it, I hold it back from you, so as not to destroy you completely. Bless God.
Only reason we're here now because God don't change. <laughs> we change. <laughs> if it wasn't if it was not for God's grace and mercy on his people, we wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> to each and every single last one of us would be destroyed. Yes, gone. <laughs> Obliterate, obliterated. <laughs> this <is> the <laughs> but bless God though. God said, for my own name's sake, I delay I delay my wrath. <laughs> for the sake of my praise, I hold it back from you. So as not to destroy you completely. See, I have refined you, though not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. Amen. I told you, uh, God, he allows us to go through things. You hear me? I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be, def be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. Amen. I love that right there. <laughs> Where? Go me pick up back, pick back up in Malachi. Where? See, the title, what I just read was Stubborn Ezra. <laughs> A lot of people starving. <laughs> All right, listen to me. Malachi chapter 2, uh, verse 17, where the title says, Breaking Covenant Through Injustice. Uh, Malachi chapter 2, verse 17, say, You have word, Malachi said, You have word the Lord with your words. How have we word him, you ask? By saying, All who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord, and he is pleased with them. Or where is the God of justice? All right. That's the time. That's the age we live in. People who think it's good to do evil and think evil and people think good is evil and evil is good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you do right, people don't like people who come around, got something nice, got the right thing to say. They don't like them. They, they call them a hater. Something. They call them just someone who in the way. Listen, they hated Jesus. <laughs> what did he do? He didn't do nothing but tell the people who was right. They, 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 people, they thought he was tripping. They called him demon and a drunk. You see what I'm saying? Jesus was good. <laughs> and they, they thought his actions were evil. You see what I'm saying? When you're doing good, the people look at you like you're tripping. But when, when you're doing evil, they support you. Boy, 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 you see, do you understand what I'm saying? You do the wrong thing, the people look at you like you're right. Man, you just doing what you got to do, bro. You just, yeah, you see what I'm saying? And it, man, no, listen to me. I know when I'm dead wrong. <laughs> I can't justify if I'm wrong. You see what I'm saying? It, it might be something smaller than you. You might not even think it's wrong. <laughs> I know certain stuff that I would do, doing, is not right. You see what I'm saying? People look, bro, you ain't doing nothing, huh? You bro, you just doing what you got to do. Listen to me, man. It's not right. I can't justify this thing. But people, they justify it. You ain't doing nothing, bro, trying to make your money. Just, man, listen, it's wrong. You see what I'm saying? I know this. I, I know it. You can't tell me it's right. You see what I'm saying? I, I know it's wrong. Listen. But we live in a days where people think to do the wrong thing right. You got to do what you got to do to make your money or whatever. You see what I'm saying? I, I can't talk like how I want to on air, but... If what's understood ain't what's understood ain't gotta be explained. But listen, a lot of some you know what I'm talking about. All right, listen. But we live in an age where people they think good evil and evil good. You see what I'm saying? Where uh, Malachi said, "You have worried him. Uh, you have worried the Lord with your words." The people said, "How have we worried him?" You ask by saying, "All who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord, and He is pleased with them." Or where is the God of justice? <laughs> People ask him, where God at? This and that. Is he not around? They think God don't exist or something. He don't see. God see everything. <laughs> you see it all. He around. Listen, God is a good God. He'll give you what you want. You wish you never had asked for it afterwards. You see what I'm saying? People <laughs> who do wrong, it come back on them. You hear me? God, he want people to come to repentance. Where the, the kindness of the Lord lead to repentance. Just read he withhold his wrath for his own name's sake. He don't want to destroy people, but he will though. You see what I'm saying? But the people, they they take a, they think God's slow. His time is slow. It's, it's, it's the same thing in 1 Peter chapter 4, I believe. 1 Peter chapter 4 or 2 Peter chapter 3. I think it's 2 Peter chapter 3. People understand slow. If they think God's slow or something. Uh, yeah. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 3. It says, uh, Second Peter chapter three, verse eight say, but do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord, with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but that, excuse me, but everyone to come to repentance. You see? The, day, uh, the title said the, the day of the Lord. God going to show up and clear everything out one day. Jesus is going to show up and wipe everything out one day. Listen. <laughs> but the day of the Lord will come like a thief. 
The heavens, the heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire. And the earth, people say the earth, the world ended by water the first time, second time by fire. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Listen, the heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire. And the earth and everything done in it will be laid, bl will, will be laid bare. You see? Listen to me. <clears throat> Uh, Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 the Lord said uh, I will send my messenger who, who will prepare the way before me then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple the messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come says the Lord Almighty but who can endure the day of his coming the day of the Lord what I just read from 2nd Peter chapter 3 but who can endure? A lot of people say they want God to show up. <laughs> when God show up, it's over. <laughs> when Jesus Christ show up, it's over. It ain't no talk on the conversation. It's thing over. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He ain't coming to talk. He coming to, he coming to, to, to he coming to, man, <laughs> listen to me. He, it said he come, he, he trading the wine, person fearing. Listen to me, he not playing when he come back, okay? Jesus came the first time. Nice, cool, and humble. <laughs> he let people do stuff to him. He let he let people hit him and this and that and talk crazy. You ain't you ain't ain't no escape when he come back the second time. When he come, and say they have the, the sky gonna rip in two. You hear me? He come with great power, with great glory. <laughs> Listen to me, man. Y'all is as as clear as you see that sun outside when it's shining ever so bright. <laughs> people, it, it's gonna be hard to look at him. I'm telling you, he got eyes like fire, cut right through you. <laughs> Listen to me, man. <laughs> he ain't playing when he come back. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Yeah, listen, people gonna be trying to run and hide away from ain't no run, ain't no hiding. They got space trying to blast out, ain't no run, ain't no hiding. You can't blast out the outer space, he gonna catch you. <laughs> you can't you can't dig a hole in the ground, not deep enough. When God when Jesus show up, you hear? <laughs> he ain't playing. But anyway, that's what that's what it means. Who can endure this day? People say they want to talk to Jesus, want him to show up or something, man. <laughs> you better be right when he show up. You, you can't go to space without a you can't go to space without a spacesuit without a spacecraft. You can't go to the bottom of the ocean without a submarine. Uh, well, you 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 must be, you must have a holy suit on to be in the presence of God. You gotta have a body, you have to have a body like Jesus. You hear me? I'm telling you, if you ain't ready to meet the Lord, then you meet you meet you gonna meet your Maker. It's gonna be the last day. I'm letting you know. Okay. Anyway, uh, Malachi chapter three, verse two, the Lord said. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? Mm -hmm. For he for he will be like a refine for he will be like a refiner's fire or a laundry's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purify and, and purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites, amen, and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings and righteousness, amen, and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem. Will be acceptable to the Lord as in the as in days gone by, as in former years. So I will come to put you on trial. I will be quick to testify. This guy talking on sudden. So I will come to put you on trial. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers, prejurers, against those who 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 defraud laborers of their wages, who oppress the widows and the fatherless, and deprive the foreigners among you of justice. Uh, but do not fear me. Well, that that sounds like the land we live in right now. <laughs> uh, the people, the Lord said, I will be quick to testify against sorcerers. Your sorcerer, you people who believe, mess with witchcraft and do, where, mag, do mess with magic. Look on TV. Y'all y'all don't understand it, but y'all see magic every day. <laughs> they, they get y'all. You, you don't even see it. They capture your mind. <laughs> Listen to me, man. Y all, y all, I'm telling you this right now. Y'all don't, don't even be seeing it, but y'all see it all the time, though, especially with the music. <laughs> they capture y'all mind. They do it. It's a lot of weird stuff be going on with, with the music. You see what I'm saying? I don't listen to certain people. Where some some stuff be super wild, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> but listen to me, it ain't just the music. There's a whole lot of other stuff that be around that <laughs> is weird, okay? For anyone who, I, but I, one thing I love is I love to be up on the God, you hear me? Because it ain't no uh, spell, ain't no omen. Do y'all rev heard me the other day? Black summon belong to curse the people. You you, you can't curse God's people. Only God's people can mess them own selves up by doing, by being, by being rebellion and rebellion to God. One thing I love though is if you're up under the Lord, ain't no curses to mess with you. Only God can allow negative things to happen to you. Hear? But can't nobody curse you. Word, I love that right there. But we live in a world where people got the world messed up through a lot of witchcraft and sorcery and all the type of wild stuff. You see what I'm saying? 
Ain't no escaping that. As long as you live down here, there's some weird stuff that be going on. Even I see the weird stuff. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but it don't mess with me. <laughs> I'll step as I think I step on the floor so much the way I do. <laughs> Listen, but uh, Black tried to he summoned Balaam to curse the people. Balaam said to Black in Numbers twenty three verse ten, "God's not human." That he should uh, Numbers twenty three, cha Numbers chapter twenty three verse nineteen, "God's not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind." Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have received a command to bless, and he has blessed, and I cannot change him. Hmm. No misfortune is seen in Jacob. No misery observed in Israel. The Lord their God is with them. Amen. The shout of the king is among them. Hmm. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. Hmm. There is no divination. Divination is witchcraft, sorcery against Jacob. No evil omens. No evil omens. It ain't no magic spell you can put. Hmm. You can do. No evil omens uh, against, uh, against Israel. I love that. It will now be said of Jacob and, and of Israel. See what God has done? Listen. But we live in America. Hmm. And all over the world and all in a whole bunch of other countries too, the people, they are sorcerers. They are adulterers. Oh, that's all they do. They have. They just want to have sex all day. They pre uh, They defraud laborers. Do they not? You, you don't get paid what you ought to get paid. Correct? <laughs> y'all work hard, but you don't. You don't. Y'all you, don't get paid as you ought to be getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Where they cheat y'all? <laughs> right? They oppress the widow. Is not. Is not the widow being oppressed? Do, do they not do that? The single ladies who ain't got help. You ain't got a man. Listen to me. If you in the old days, if you didn't have a man to help you out, it was kind of hard. You see what I'm saying? Still then. The people, the the man messed up. You, if if you got a man, woman, you you lucky. But the majority of them, they around. But you see what I'm saying? I ain't trying to talk negative, negative about my brothers. But most of the people with those, you see what I'm saying? And the girl by herself, you see how the females be. You see what I'm saying? They be resorting to all types of stuff. They get oppressed all the time. Where the fatherless, many of y'all ain't got a good days. The parents around y'all fatherless. You see what I'm saying? Where you get oppressed, don't you? Where listen and deprived. <clears throat> And deprive the foreigners among you of injustice. Why not? But do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty. Uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. The Lord said, I, the Lord, do not change. So you, the, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. Why not? That's a blessing, man. Listen, only reason we're still here is because of God. <laughs> All right, if, it if it was not for God and his mercy and his grace, we would be wiped out by them. <laughs> Believe that. <laughs> because the present day America... Including myself, bro. Because, bro, growing up, you get caught up in some things, okay? If it, if it was, listen to me, I know for a fact, if it was not for God's grace and mercy, I wouldn't be right here right now. I'd have, I'd have been, I'd have crashed on the road. I wrecked on the road a few times. I'd have crashed on the road. I'd have bled out. I would not be here right here right now. I'd be dead on jail somewhere if it was not for the, for the grace and mercy of God. I'm telling you this right now. Listen to me, man. Many people will be dead or in jail somewhere right now. Most likely dead. <laughs> okay? It's hard. To, you ever heard Tupac say trying to make the 25 a difficult age or something? Where? <laughs> many people, you don't, you don't live to see long there, do you not? Why do you think so many young people die down early and early? The old people, they live long. <laughs> they live longer than when we live. Why, why is that? Because it was, it was a more respect for God. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Growing up, people... It's a, it's a blessing. If any one of y'all got a fear of God in your heart, that is a blessing because you look around, it ain't no fear of God in people's eyes. They're not afraid of doing it. It's look, I know little kids in the pop. Wait, they don't, you see what I'm saying? Wait, look, you see, listen to me, man. Wait, listen. But we, wait, if it wasn't for God, he said, I'm not going to yield my glory to another. The people belong to him. It's, we just the world just got caught up. It, we live in a world that's currently ruled by Satan. Uh, sin in the world uh, is not on our side. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Where Jesus said, "Do not look." The John said, "Do not love the world <clears throat> or anything in the world." <laughs> Where talking about the material things. John chapter two, I believe. First John chapter two. First John chapter two, verse fifteen. Brother John wrote, "Do not love the world or anything in the world." If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, you, you, your, you, you, your flesh control you. You just want to have sex all day, get drunk all day, get high all day. You, you follow the desires of your flesh. 
You see what I'm saying? You're not using your mind no more. You're using your flesh. Your flesh using you. You, your body, more. You're not in control of your body. Your body in control of you. Word. That, you understand what I'm saying? Word. What you see? Listen. The lust of the flesh. The pride. Uh, the lust of the eyes. Whatever your eyes see. You see that woman? You just want them. You, woman, you see that man? You, you just want them. The lust of the eyes. Whatever you see. You see the money? You just you want the money. Whatever your eyes see. You lust of that. Your eyes ain't. Your eyes full of darkness instead of light. You see what I'm saying? Listen, listen to what I just said. Mm -hmm. Where the people, they basically what you see on TV all the time. Mm -hmm. If you ain't you ain't looking at God, if you ain't looking at the Word, you are looking at all lot of bull crap. You see what I'm saying? Listen to me, man, and it draw your attention. That, that's one thing. The TV thing, just one thing. I'm talking, but you see this all around you, though. Where ain't talking on TV. Mm -hmm. Where listen, and the pride of life. It's all about me, myself, and I. Comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. Amen. <clears throat> Listen. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, the Lord said, I the Lord, I the Lord do not change. So you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. Amen. Ever since the time of your ancestors, you have turned away from my decrees and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. But you ask, how are we how are we to return? Will a mere mortal rob God? Mm -hmm. will, will a mere will a mere mortal rob God? Yet you rob me. But you ask, how are we robbing you? And tithes and offerings, you are under a curse. Your whole nation, because you are robbing me, you see? Mm -hmm. The people I ain't talking about he not talking about money. Mm -hmm. Well, he ain't talking about just your money. Uh, they use it. In the church, uh, God loves a happy giver. They they use that to get your money. <laughs> Where God do love a happy giver, a cheerful giver. It's better to give than to receive. Listen to him. He's not just talking about your money, though. <laughs> you tithe. Your tithes can be in a whole lot of stuff. It could be. <laughs> it could be in your time. It could be for, what you're doing for people. Listen, man. Where and your offering, what you offer to the Lord, offering your heart. You see what I'm saying? And tithes and offerings, <laughs> not just your money. Okay. Some people they got it confused with just money. <laughs> Listen to me, man. <laughs> You're robbing God. Uh, the two greatest commands, lo love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. The second, just like it, love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> You're not offering your heart to God in, either, in, in neither one of these ways. You hear me? You're not tithing to God. I ain't just talking about with your money. you 10%. Yeah. People understand tithing. They, talk, they, they use it for the term of 10%. <laughs> when you get whatever you give to the Lord, get 10%. Well, a lot of y'all not even giving 10% of your time to the Lord. You hear me? It's 24 hours in a day. <laughs> 12, hour, 12 hours of the day you sleep, okay? Uh, well, 12 out of 12 hours of the day are nighttime, okay? So 12 hours you should be up, probably. You should be, okay? Uh, 1% of, 10% of 12 is, uh, it's like an hour and 24 minutes or something. Some, somewhere around those lines. If, if I'm not, it's early in the morning. My math might be a little bit not too uh, on point, but it's somewhere along that line. An hour and, t and 24 minutes, something like that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot of y'all don't, don't give an hour uh, uh, thinking about the Lord. A little bit of time. You got 12, 24 hours throughout the day, okay? <laughs> 10% of the, uh, I'm telling you, listen to me, man. 10% of the 24 will be two hours and, and like and 40 minutes or something, something like that. But the daytime, an hour and 20 minutes, a little, little bit of time. A lot of people not even, they give God no time. You work all day, all your time going into the money. You give more time to that girl, that man, whoever you spend your time, where the Lord wants your heart. A lot of, a lot of y'all not even giving 10% of your time. You know what I'm saying? Listen to me. Where you're not even thinking about God, not ten percent of your mind. <laughs> that making sense to you? A lot of y'all just go go to church on Sunday and you sit down and listen to the music, <laughs> talk about God good and Jesus good and the Holy Spirit this and that. <laughs> Where you just there for entertainment purpose? You know what I'm saying? Where <laughs> you're not even giving ten percent of your time. <laughs> Forget your money. Forget the money. You keep the money. That's me telling you. <laughs> God don't need your money. He's rich beyond measure. If you want to help out materially, that's great. Excellent. Cool. You see what I'm saying? But you don't need your money. God got it all. <laughs> see what I'm saying? He created all. <laughs> Forget your money. He wants your heart. That's the one thing he's he not going to forcefully take from you. He wants you to get that up willingly. You see what I'm saying? Off of that willingly. <laughs> Word. God loves a cheerful giver. He loves a cheerful giver. But a lot of people under the curse because they're trying to rob God. <laughs> God said, will a mere mortal, Malachi chapter 3, verse 8, will a mere mortal rob God? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you rob me. But you ask, how are we robbing you? And tithes and offerings, you are under a curse, your whole nation. Because you are robbing me, 
Bring the whole tab into the storehouse. Bring, 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 bring your best. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah, bring the whole tab into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour and pour out so much blessing that there will not be enough room to store it. Listen to me. I love that right there. <laughs> when you give your all to God, God say, here, pour out a blessing so big, you can't, you ain't going to have nowhere to keep. People won't look at me one day. <laughs> like, bro, how you get this? How you get that? <laughs> I gave it all to God, man. You hear me? Listen to me. When you give it all to him, <laughs> when you give when you give it all to him, he'll give it all back to you. <laughs> you can't now give God. <laughs> you can't now give the Lord, man. <laughs> when you're being truthful and honest with him, you can't now give him. Listen to me. <laughs> Y'all will see it one day. The Lord said, test me in this. This is the only thing God's actually saying we can test him in this. When you, when you, <laughs> you shall not put the Lord, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. But this is the one thing God said you can actually test him in this. <laughs> when you give him your all, <laughs> she will not give it back to you. <laughs> he said, he said himself, test me in this. <laughs> Says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven <laughs> and pour out so much blessing that there will not be enough room to store it, I, I, I will prevent pests from devouring your crops, and the vines in your fields will not drop their fruit but before it's ripe, says the Lord Almighty. Then all the nations will call you blessed. Then all the nations will call you blessed. For yours will be a delightful land, says the Lord Almighty. A lot of people, they don't, uh, they're not, their offerings and their tasks are some BS. <laughs> You're not bringing your best to God. David himself said in Psalms 51, In Psalms 51, verse 16, Brother David said, You do not delight in sacrifice, or, or I will bring it. Hmm. Uh, you, you do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken, is a broken spirit, hmm. a broken and contrite heart. You, God, will not despise. That's what God wants you to bring an offering. Bring your all to him. A lot of people not doing that. Hmm. There was a woman named Ruth. She had a mother-in-law na named Naomi. <laughs> What would Ruth do? Ruth, Ruth, she willing, she stayed with her. She gave it all up to be with her mother-in-law. <laughs> Ruth said, uh, don't urge me to go. Uh, Ruth, Naomi, uh, Ruth chapter 1. Where? Ruth chapter 1, verse 16. She said, don't urge me to leave. <laughs> uh, turn back from you. Where you go, I'm going to go. Where you stay, I'm going to stay. Your people be my people. Your God, capital G, Mike, she made a heck of a choice that day. <laughs> Where you die, I die. And there, I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it that was so severely, if even death separates you and me. Ruth gave up her time. Ruth ain't had no hope. It wasn't no hope for Ruth. Uh, Naomi lost it all. She ain't even, Naomi herself ain't even have hope. But Ruth offered her time, herself, to, to stick with her mother-in-law. You hear me? And God bless Ruth. Ruth ended up becoming a great grandma of Jesus. <laughs> She became the grand. She became the, the grandma of David. Literally, where she had nothing. When you when you get, I'm telling you, can't outgive God. God blessed her in a mighty mighty way. You can't outgive God. When, whatever she offered herself, she offered herself to God through through being submissive to her mother in law Ruth. To, Ruth offered herself to God by being in submission to Naomi. You hear? Me? Listen, man, by giving herself up to her. You see what I'm saying? Where her time. Her life. What are you off? What are you offering to the Lord? He don't care about your money. You a lot of y'all don't get nothing out because you're not really putting nothing in. You see what I'm saying? Literally. All right. But in what you do put in, you, a lot of y'all trying to buy God. You can keep it. You can keep your money, man. He you don't need your money. You can't buy God. God don't need. He don't show favoritism. Y'all trying to buy his favor. You can't do that. It must be from the heart. You see what I'm saying? Listen. Let me drink my cough. But let, I hope, hope y'all understand. What I understood that. You know what I'm saying? Listen. God will bless you, man. When you get, you can't outgive God. A lot of y'all don't, don't, don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Malachi, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about one day, though. Malachi chapter 3, verse 13. The title say, Israel speaks arrogantly against God. Malachi chapter 3, verse 13. <clears throat> verse 13 says, you have spoken arrogantly against me, says the Lord. Yet you ask, what have we said against you? <laughs> you have said it is futile to serve God. What do we gain by what do we gain by carrying out his requirements and going about like mourners before the Lord Almighty? <laughs> but now, but now we call the arrogant blessed 
Certainly, evil doors prosper, and even when they are, and even when they put God to the test, they get away with it. Hmm. The title say Israel speaks arrogantly against God. Hmm. Listen, I like this right here. The Lord said, "You have spoken arrogantly against me, Arr arrogantly against me," says the Lord. Yet you ask, "What have we said against? What have we said against you?" You have said, "It is futile. It ain't no point." Hmm. A lot of people think it ain't no point in serving God. Correct. Look, look around the world. Listen to me, man. I know I don't receive no popularity award for you don't you don't get the popularity vote award for serving the Lord. People look at you like, oh, he's just a Jesus freak or something. He's just a, he's just a God freak or something. Listen, they think it ain't no point in serving God. Well, y'all believe in car insurance and house insurance or whatever. You better get some hell insurance. You know what I'm saying? Swear, listen to me, man. It ain't no point in serving God. You crazy. A lot of y'all don't, y'all got y'all your, your minds backwards, you know, that, but that's what people think of, man, ain't no point, God ain't gonna bless me, this and that, that's because you're not truly faithful, <laughs> you ain't true, you, you ain't truly being faithful, you don't, you don't know, you don't know what it's like to be faithful, listen, man, a lot of people, they think, it ain't no point in serving God, God is beneficial, God is beneficiary, what are you talking about, David said, uh, in Psalms 107, I believe it's Psalms 107, Psalms 107. Get out of my heart some worse. I mean, my mind some worse. Psalms and forget not all his benefits. Psalms 139, I believe. Bear with me. I'm fine as young. Uh, I can't think of which one it is, but I'm going to find it. <laughs> I ain't want to use my phone. I hate using my phone. Uh, but I'm going to find it and forget, all, and forget not his benefits. Psalms 103. All right, I was close. All right, I was close. <laughs> I, I got so much stuff in my head. Y'all be surprised. Y'all, If y'all could flip through my mind one time, be like, bro, why all these books in your head? <laughs> Man, this is years and years of... Listen. <laughs> Psalms 103. <laughs> it's, it's Psalms 103. <laughs> uh, now I'm looking right at verse 2 through 5. <clears throat> Yeah. Psalms 103 verse 1 <laughs> It's early in the morning, y'all bear with me Psalms 103 verse 1, Brother David said Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being Praise his holy name Praise the Lord, my soul And forget, and forget not all his benefits, huh? Who forgives all your sins And heals all your diseases who, rede who redeems your life from the pit And crowns you with love and compassion Who, satisf who satisfies your desires with good things So that you... So, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Mm -hmm. All right, a lot of people forget. That. A lot of people forget how beneficiary God is. You listen. You crazy. You was crazy. If you if you think serving God, you don't serve God for nothing. You hear me? I I know. I, my great grandma said all the time, "I don't serve God for nothing." <laughs> Why did I still hear a voice? That, that woman right here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all really don't serve God. A lot of y'all really don't serve God, your father. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all really don't worship God, your father. A lot of y'all really don't follow Jesus Christ as you are too. Y'all want to talk about him and talk about it. Jesus said these people honor me with their lips, huh? But their hearts are far from me. It's a lot of people now that talk about God and talk about Jesus and talk about the Holy Spirit, but y'all, y'all hearts ain't, y'all hearts ain't with him. Yeah. <laughs> Cause your actions show it. A lot of y'all talk about God just when you want to argue. I got someone on my on my junk on my, my YouTube channel, so I don't know who this person is or whatever. But people always talk; they love to argue, point out a fact. And if you really if you really worship God and really follow Jesus Christ, you can see what God doing through, through someone and how they speaking. It shows your thinking. It shows in your thinking because your thinking is dull. A lot of people just want to argue about God. That's what you're here for, to argue. Mm -hmm. to call, yeah, you're a fault finding the grammar. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. 
I have never argued with no one over God. I'm talking about if I see someone on their junk, you ain't gonna see me on no one's channel just looking. You know what I mean? If I see something, if I see, even if I see they wrong, I ain't gonna say nothing for Friars because they got their own little opinion. It ain't my job to point them. That's the job of the Holy Spirit. Well, I can talk to them, but I ain't right here to prove. I ain't gonna say, wrong. Man, nah. That ain't my job, bro. You weird. <laughs> if someone ain't right, I, I, well, they, they just gotta grow up a little bit. Even little kids can say the sky purple. They don't understand yet. They still young. You see know what I'm saying? They, they, they ain't gonna argue with the children. <laughs> you find yourself arguing with the children. You, you, you highly ignorant. <laughs> That's what a lot of parents be doing. Arguing with their child. You're supposed to be the ground up. Yes, you argue with the kid. It shows in your thinking <laughs> how much far you grown. You ain't grown up at all if you still arguing with your children. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You 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 very close to a child yourself. <laughs> it's people it's people who look it's people who come and say some dumb stuff all the time. <laughs> I, I I look and I say okay. You know, not, I, I, I see people say some dumb stuff. I just don't be saying that. I ain't gonna argue with the kids. I understand. I ain't got, I don't have children, but I raised I helped raise my two little brothers. Where, but you see what I'm saying? But I understand. I ain't gonna argue with the kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You should you should know that they just children. They don't understand. You see what I'm saying? If you don't, if you argue with them, it shows that you don't understand. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you like a big kid. No, I ain't gonna try to be nice. Well, how I get here? How did I get here? My goodness. Uh, yeah, a lot of people think it's shoot, shoot out and serve God. <laughs> Man, you crazy? The people, the, the people speak ignorant. <laughs> they say, uh, in Malachi chapter, chapter three, verse fourteen, that's how people think. <laughs> it is shoot out. It is shoot out to serve God. Well, listen. When y'all when y'all see the blessings coming, then everyone wants want to serve God and be close to God. Oh, he she blessed, or he blessed. I want to be like that, be like that, man. <laughs> no, you don't. You ain't want it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. you, you just want you just want the you just want the material blessings. You know, that's what people see. They they whatever. That's how people be thinking, man. They just want to get stuff. Out, they want, like to get stuff. Right? You're not you're never gonna have nothing as long as you think about gold and this and that. You gotta go through something. As, as, that's what all y'all think about is this right here. As long as you as long as you don't see this, you don't see, you don't see nothing else but this, right? That's all you see. Where right. people think it ain't no point. I mean, God ain't gonna give me. He ain't gonna help me with my bills. He ain't gonna do that for me. What point is it serving God? That's how people think. Where right. I ain't gonna serve God. If he ain't gonna help me with my money, I, I need money. That's what I need. Yeah, that's how people think. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? God ain't gonna help me out with that. <laughs> Man, he'll bless you and give you everything you need. What you talking about? There's a lot of stuff you don't need. A lot of y'all ain't want. You want this, you want that. God ain't gonna give you everything you want, but he'll help you truly he'll give you what you need. He ain't gonna wear it. You see what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't want. I want that nice car. I want I want that Benz. I want that I want yeah, I want that <laughs> What you need? You're not going nowhere. You stuck in one spot. What do you need a nice car for? Be happy with be yeah, you should settle for settle for a lower car. So you see what I'm saying? Y'all won't listen, won't that you don't really need it. <laughs> Alright, you see what I'm saying? Y'all ain't won't and thank God you be mad, think ain't no point in serving God because he don't give you what you want. <laughs> Man, your parents don't give you what you want. You see what I'm saying? All the time. Y'all got God twisted. But this is how people think though. You have said it is futile. <laughs> ain't no point in serving God. That's that's how people think. I I wouldn't dare think like that. You have said it is futile to serve God. What do we gain? What do we gain by carrying out his requirements and going about like mourners before the Lord Almighty? But now we call the arrogant blessed. Y'all see people who got money, people on TV, uh, finesse two times, money back and all them. Y'all look at that, man. Those people blessed, man. They blessed. That, that's what y'all say, man. The people who got the money blessed. <laughs> they arrogant. They talk crazy and say all say the most dumbest stuff. Man, those people blessed, man. Where just where that's what y'all say. The people, the people be doing the most crazy stuff. Man, if only I could be like them. <laughs> Man, do you know? Do you know what they did to, to get what they got, or do you know what they got to do to keep what they got? <laughs> y'all call them people blessed. I I ain't mean to just point them out. I'm just, I'm just using an example. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but word. Y'all call arrogant people blessed. The people in the neighborhood got the cars. Who doing wrong? Man, them people blessed. Man, I wish I could be like them. Yeah. <laughs> They not serving God or nothing. Y'all think they blessed. Them people ain't blessed, bro. I'm letting you know. Where you can have a whole lot. If you ain't got God, you ain't got nothing. Where I don't give a damn what you got. You know what I'm saying? You can have a very little bit. If you got God, you got it all, my brother, sister. Don't let no, don't let, don't let the outside define what's on the inside. You see what I'm saying? That's how a lot of y'all think. Uh, Malachi chapter three, verse fifteen. But the people say. But now we call the arrogant blessed. Certainly, evildoers prosper. 
And even when they put God to the test, they get away with it. <laughs> y'all see people living their life. The rap, y'all, y'all, y'all will see this mostly in the rap industry. People, they just they talking crazy and living crazy. <laughs> and you see, they they got the chain, they got the cars, and then the, a few a few years later, look at what happened to them. <laughs> them people end up dead or in jail. <laughs> they don't live long out here. You know what I'm saying? I told you, they just, they just like sheep set up to be blood butchered. <laughs> the world they look like Humpty Dumpty. God, God, he, he take you down first and then lift you up higher than ever. The world, they lift you up first. Satan, he lift you up and give you what you need. He, he tried Jesus. Did he not try Jesus? He said, all this, he, he took, Matthew, get your Bible, man. Go to Matthew chapter 4. He, 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 took, he, he took Jesus to the holy city and showed him all the kingdoms and that splendor. He said, all this I will give to you. Only you'll bow down and worship me. <laughs> what happened, bro? That dude, wow. Listen to me. Because that's what he's trying to get y'all, man. Y'all, he's trying to take the shortcut. Y'all want the shortcut. Where? Where? You say, y'all don't want to go through nothing. Y'all want like hand it to you. That's what a lot of people, look on TV, in the world. A lot of people who got this and got that, man, it'd be handed to them. You don't see them out here on the corner doing they got. You don't see them working hard, literally, man. They got, they, they got help. It'd be more, this is man, it's more easy for them to get away with stuff than you. I'm trying to say this in a way where I can't talk about how I want to, but listen, <laughs> listen, they follow Satan. They do the world will lift them up it's quick, fast. You see, that's how they get it so fast. Word. But then you, then you see how they fall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give them a few years. They don't last long out here. Okay. I promise. I promise you that. Okay. The world they lift you up. They they, they do you like Humpty Dumpty. All right, they set you up real high and put you on that wall. They know you're going to take that fall, okay? God, he let he put you down first and then lift you up higher than ever, all right? And you ain't gonna, you're never you never going to fall when you get with the Lord, all right? But listen, let me read this. Uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 16 say, Those who fear the Lord uh, talk, talk with each other. And the Lord listened and heard a scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who fear the Lord and honor his name. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasured possession. Amen. You say they know you serve serving God. Yeah, right. Better wake up and snap up. God is a shield and a protector. He is saving. You hear me? He is redeemed. Got to die one day, baby. A lot of y'all don't talk about the afterlife or death. Well, I love the fact that if you understand anything in every, in every religion, in every background and culture, they they believe in the afterlife. Uh, y'all don't talk about the afterlife, do y'all? You know you gotta die one day, don't you, damn? It? You gotta go somewhere. You better snap snap to reality. Yeah, a lot of y'all alive, but y'all free dead. You see what I'm saying? The people in the past was more conscious than y'all is today. So they 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 knew it was an afterlife. Yeah, how they get how they got there? Their ways was a little bit different, and they thinking was a little bit dull. Because they, 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 they didn't understand as they ought to understand, but they understood. They got to go somewhere. You got to go somewhere one day. Life is short on this earth, okay? Well, y'all not prepared to go to death. Y'all not prepared to live forever. Bro, you going to live forever one way or another, whether you like it or not. It's whether you going to live, live, it's whether you going to live forever in heaven or you going to live forever in hell. You see what I'm saying? They all believe in the heaven and the hell. All of them did. The, uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 16 said, those who fear the Lord and talk with each other. And the Lord, uh, those who fear the Lord, they talk with each other. And the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who fear the Lord and honor his name. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasure possession. I will spare them, just as the Father has compassion and spares the Son who serves him. Amen. And you will again, and you will again, See the see the distinction between the righteous and the, and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. The Lord says, "You're gonna see who, who you're gonna see who really serve me, and who don't." Malachi chapter four verse one. The Lord said, "Surely the day is coming; it will burn like a furnace, and all the arrogant and every evil door will be stubble." And the day that is coming will set them on fire. God gonna show up one day. <laughs> Jesus Christ gonna show up one day. <laughs> Where the the atmosphere gonna rip in two. You hear me? I'm telling you this now, man. <laughs> Where listen to me. <laughs> and the day that is coming will set them on fire, says the Lord Almighty. Not a root or a branch will be left to them, but for you, who re who revere my name. The son of righteousness, the S U N, the right is really the S O N, <laughs> but it's the, I love the fact it's, it's a metaphor, it's being used as a metaphor. But for you who, who revere my name, the son 
of righteousness. I, I told, I love the fact the Bible says heavens and the, the heavens and the earth declare the glory of God. Mm, yeah? You don't, you don't need a Bible to teach you that God is out there. He exists. <laughs> look up, look up at the sky. <laughs> Listen, what's the greatest thing in our solar system? <laughs> The sun, the S-U-N, say that again, Vontae. What's the greatest thing in our solar system? The sun, say it one more time. What is the greatest thing in our solar system? The sun, the S-U-N. The S-U-N is a mini, is a mini rep representation of the S-O-N. Everything the S-U-N do outside, the sun, the S-O-N does on a greater scale. Without the sun, we don't get no heat. We don't get, well, from, from the sun, we get light, heat, and energy. Listen, man, I, I love it right there. I, I love it. Listen, everything the S-U-N do, the S-O-N do on a greater scale. It's a mini representation of Jesus himself. Listen, word, I, I love it right there. Listen, I could I could relate to the old Egyptian culture when it, it was they they, they they was off a little bit, but the, the old Egyptian people is it like it's different guys, man. Seth, Horst, Thoth, and all them. But it was it was a, it was one dude who came. I can't think of his name. He got rid of all them, and he believed in mon he be he believed in monotheism, and he put up the sun god, just one. You hear me? I know he talking, but I know he was I know he off, but he but he was close. He is very close to the right track. I tell you, I can't think of his name. It's not with an A or something. I can't think of his name, but he was very close to the right track. Where he he he, he worshipped the sun. You see what I'm saying? He was very close. He was off, but he was very very close. I I, I understand his thinking. You see what I'm saying? Where? But he's very close because the sun, the S U N, is the greatest thing in our solar system that God has created for us to, for us to have. You see what I'm saying? We're not supposed to be worshiping the sun, the S U N, but literally we the S O N. God did send him. To, to follow him, yeah, and when you follow the S O N, truly, this is the is the you 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 on the right track. Listen, word, listen. But as for you, I, I think that's quite cool. But as for you, who revere my name, the S U N of righteousness will rise with healing and in is in with healing and is and is raised, <clears throat> and you will go out and frolic like well fed calves. Then you will trample on the wicked. They will be ashes under the soles of your feet on, on the day when I act. Amen. Says the Lord Almighty. Remember the law of my servant Moses and the, and the decrees and laws I gave him at Horeb for all Israel. See, I will send the prophet Elijah to you before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes, he will turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the hearts of the, of the children to their parents. Or else I will come and strike the land with total destruction. God said, before the Lord come, he's going to send Elijah. The prophet Elijah. <laughs> where Jesus said, uh, talking about John the Baptist, uh, those who can accept it, he is Elijah to come. <laughs> he the one who to prepare the way. <laughs> where I love the fact <laughs> God can, he can keep on doing this. <laughs> and <laughs> it's hard for me to explain it to you like I want to. Because uh, Jesus, Jesus said, I have much more to say to you. More than you can now bear. Mm -hmm. I can tell you something right now, but you really can't handle what I what I what I'm would be able to tell you because you're, a lot of people's thinking their minds just can't understand. You know, it's just like me. It's just, it's just like me trying to explain to a kid uh, algebra three or something. Al you know what I mean? Uh, or geometry. You know what I'm saying? They they gonna leave like what are you talking about? <laughs> it, where do talk? You see what I'm saying? Where they you're not gonna understand what I'm talking about if I try to explain it to you with where Jesus, Jesus himself said, I have much more to say to you, more than, more than you can now bear. <laughs> but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. Yeah, I love that right there, man. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> yeah, I like that a whole lot. <laughs> that junk had me hot about that Malachi 3 thing. Malachi 3. The people say it's few that to serve God. That's how a whole lot of people think. <laughs> That's how a lot of people think right now until, until it's too late. Until something happened, they all they calling on God. Then yeah, that's it. When, when, when something bad go on, they looking for God. Damn, you should be looking for him before ha something happened. Mm -hmm. Word before the word. Listen to me because <laughs> word. You see what I'm saying? Is that making sense to you? A lot of people thinking ain't no point in serving God until until it's something too late. Then they, then they want to serve God. You see what I'm saying? And it's, if you make your mind up then, and if you got time, that's great. You see what I'm saying? But you want to you want to be on the right side before stuff happens, before stuff go wrong. You see what I'm saying? Because you're gonna have to you're gonna be all right when you're going into it. You see what I'm saying? Because it ain't a guarantee you're gonna come out of it when, just because bad stuff happens. Listen, 
you gonna if that make any sense to you? All right. Mm. A lot of y'all wait till it's too late. It's just like uh, even Jesus used an example too about the story about the weeping about how uh, stuff gonna be. Uh, when it's too late, when when the door is shut, it's gonna be it's gonna when it's too late, man. It's gonna be many people. Jesus gonna say it's gonna be many people begging. Uh, Alright, said <clears throat> Matthew seven. Uh, that, that ain't the one I'm looking for. But it's it's, it's one then. Uh, it's it's one story. It's another story I'm looking for. It ain't in Matthew seven. It, it, it's, it's Matthew seven, but it's another one too. Jesus told a story about how things gonna be at the end, where it's gonna be many people. And when it, when the door is shut, they gonna try to get to the Lord. Then they gonna ask him, Jesus, help me, help me, help me, help me, save me. <laughs> it's too late when the door is shut. <laughs> Y'all should have believed that first and should have accepted him at first and should have should have should have accepted God's word at first. Because when the door is shut. When it's too late, people come to realization of what they should have did. Man, it's too late. When, when it's too late, it's too late. <laughs> that's why you should get right now, okay? That's that's it. A lot of people, they think it ain't no point in serving God until something happens. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? When, when you see God step in and show out, then it, then you want to wise up and smart up. Man, you better wise and smart up now. <laughs> because when you see when you, when you you see stuff real, <laughs> but if it is real, y'all just can't see it. Just like that wind, you, you can't see the wind. It's right there. Listen, man. <laughs> When you see stuff real, when you start to see the God, when you start to see God ain't playing, y'all want to smart up and wise up. You want to smart up and wise up now, hmm? because when stuff start, stuff start happening, it might not be a chance for you. Okay, hmm? but when Jesus do what He do and the door shut, it's gonna be billions of people trying to get in. Just because I never knew y'all. Hmm? Word. I'm getting off it with that one, y'all. But I, I like that. See, y'all took a little bit out of me, but God bless y'all. Y'all keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. He going to give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading you to Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be on our Father in heaven one day and get up out of here. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Can't wait to get up out of here, man. One of these days. <laughs> right up. Ask me, if you ask me, I'm going to go home today. I'm done. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> Try to do this at y'all real so quick. Don't be shocked and surprised to see my face in the bitch where would have Vontae went home. <laughs> Boy, he he, God ever asked me, Vontae, you want to go home? I'm gone. I holler at y'all so fast. <laughs> and where? So fast. <laughs> where? I'm getting off here. I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. All right? Y'all keep on praying for me too. <laughs> I will see y'all again. Amen. God bless you.